So in the last video, we set up some basic Jest and we ran it and tested it and saw some of the kind of different things that you can uh, see for output. In this video, we'll kind of expand on that and talk through um, how we can basically uh, group tests together and some common different uh, assertions that we can make. So um, here we just have this one test thing and it's great and all that. But sometimes you have a function that you're going to write more than one test for. So oftentimes we'll use what's known as a describe block. The way a describe block works is very similar to how the test block works. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this in here. Essentially, the describe block says you know something like testing the sum function, or maybe even just sum function, um, and then inside of the describe block we put our tests so it's like saying hey we're describing the sum function these are the tests um, and if we go ahead and run this it'll just change our output up a little bit so you can see here it's got this sum function and then this is kind of indented under it and if we wrote another test um, let's say negative numbers and we do negative three negative six and it should be obviously negative nine we run those and it passes so we have two tests that are now under um, oops two negative numbers that are under this one block uh, another thing that you'll often see in terms of pattern and it really makes no difference is this test function it'll often be called the it function so it'll be something like uh, it should sum two numbers together it should sum two negative numbers together so that way you'll see that pattern and this will do pretty much the exact same thing but in here, it'll kind of read better. It'll say like describe some function, it should sum two numbers together. So it's telling us what the test should do. Um, cool, so that's, uh, that's how we write um, kind of grouping of tests together. Now let's kind of take a look at some of the other um, expectations and assertions that we can do. So inside here, we, uh, we used expect and it's got to be um, there's also different uh, kind of things that you can have so we get like not to be really what I want is um, well just to kind of talk about a lot of the others we got to be null to be undefined so if you're testing for things like um, specific numbers or whatnot you can you can definitely test for that. But the one I'll call out, since I put it on the assessment, is um, to throw. So sometimes you want your code to throw some errors. And the way that we go about doing that is to use this expect with a to throw. And we can't just um, pass the function call because it'll error out. What we actually want it to do is you, we want to kind of contain it in this function, this little um, anonymous function. So let's write a new test. Um, so it should throw an error if two numbers aren't passed, uh, are not passed. And then we'll write our little anonymous function. Let's say we pass this uh, this function with just one number. So expect sum with just you know five, four. So somebody using our function is calling it wrong. They're they're not they're not going to get the expected outcome. Uh, and so we'll use to throw to actually. Um, do this uh, do this correctly so we will 
we'll just copy this real quick and then put it like that cool so this is regex um, this is basically just saying hey whatever the error message is look for this message in it so that's kind of a interesting thing to do and we'll just say um, one or more arguments is undefined that's the error that we want so right now this will fail um, because it's not throwing an error uh, we got we actually got back a, a thing um, and we want it to throw an error so in our sum function we can read these variables we can say something like hey if a not a or not b what that's saying is that if either of these are falsy so this can happen if one of these values isn't passed if you don't pass a function value um, like we're doing here b will now be undefined and undefined is falsy so if this is like this what we want is to throw new error and we'll pass a string um, I think I did that right throw new oh, capital E that's what I was thinking so now if I did this right um, so we're still missing one thing so I'm gonna still run it though just to show you um, cool should, should still fail uh, the reason is because this is throwing the error but it's being kind of caught here and actually messing up this uh, this execution so that's why we pass the anonymous function so now it's done in the context of this anonymous function and if I did this right perfect so now it's throwing the error so this is helpful to think about edge cases for your functions where you're writing code and you're like hey on what what uh, context should my function not work so if something's the wrong type or they fail to pass the right amount of arguments um, it's just kind of what makes sense and usually when you're when you're given a, uh, a coding assignment um, a lot of these requirements will be spelled out for you by uh, project managers or whatnot but not all the time sometimes you'll uh, you'll be given just code to write and you'll have to think about what the, the expectations should be. So thank you for watching and um, good luck on the assessment.